iPhone 5S hardware gets rumored. Samsung teases their CES 2013 event for January 8th, and Android 4.2 scores terribly when it comes to security. I'm Jaime Rivera, wondering if this is the Galaxy S4 teaser, and this is Pocket Now Daily. That's right, we're probably a full year away from the launch of the future generation iPhone and we've already got rumors of the hardware coming in the iPhone 5S. According to Business Insider, it does seem that Apple will be experimenting with different colors when it comes to the next generation iPhone, not just the black and white devices that we currently know. Now this is kind of hard to believe considering that Apple was very reluctant to bring colors even to the iPod Touch lineup, but apparently this is the same process that we will see with the next generation device. We're also hearing a June probable launch, which I see even more far-fetched, but we'll see about that. Now something that's sort of cool is that apparently XDA developers has figured out a way to get the Nexus 4 to support 4G LTE on AT&T. Sadly the catch is that apparently the Nexus 4 only supports LTE on one certain band that's not available everywhere on AT&T. It's only available in certain areas. So if I were you, just follow the links in the description for details on how to get it done on your device. And you could probably get lucky, though we're not going to promise anything. Speaking of the Nexus 4, University just conducted a test on Android, and after throwing a staggering 1,260 samples of malware to Android 4.2 Jelly Bean, guess what? It was barely able to catch 193 of these samples, which barely scratches the surface of 20%. Well, third-party applications on this same test were able to catch from 50 to 100% of these samples, so it does seem as if Android 4.2 has a lot of track to cover when it comes to security, though they didn't test iOS or Windows Phone for that that matter. We're not sure you should be alarmed. Many of us don't really carry malware protection software, but it's just one thing to keep in mind. And if Microsoft Office is what has you waiting to jump into an iPad or an Android tablet from your current netbook, more rumors do have it that we will be getting these applications in early 2013. In the past, we had heard rumors that this will happen in March 2013. The only problem is that we still don't know if this will be a full version of Office or not. We could be getting a crop-down version of the services just to not compete with the Surface, but time will tell. And finally, for the hot news of the day, Samsung has just sent out teasers for their CES 2013 event to be held in Las Vegas on January 8th. They don't provide details as to what we'll get. The teaser only says that we will be getting something new. The cool thing is that both Michael and I will be covering the event live in Las Vegas on that date. So while we're at that, that leads me to the question of the day. What do you think Samsung will release at this event? My predictions are Galaxy S4, but it could be far-fetched. So leave us a comment down below. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on parkingout.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.